Hello, welcome to another exciting and interesting episode of Jason Shop. Today I'd like to tackle a video on the central pneumatic air angle grinder. Um, there's a lot of complaints about this thing and I will say they're all probably very valid. Now, um, one thing that we uh, need to realize is that <clears throat> this is a tool. It's made out of metal and uh, some plastic and rubber parts uh, without getting into the you know into the subject of engineering and design and stuff this thing should work okay now um, we're gonna take this apart first of all I'm gonna show you the basic parts of it um, got a few wrenches here and I'm just gonna pull this out this is the bottom assembly here oh hopefully you can see now the uh, air nozzle thing is attached to that and it screws off without this coming off. So um, I'm going to take out the plastic part. There's the inside of it. Uh, really not much down here you have to deal with. Now this here is uh, kind of like the same connection as on the Shopsmith switch. It's one of these things and it's a combination. Uh, it holds the, it's a combination uh, nut and it holds this thing here in this plunger cover and uh, there's a little spring inside there I don't know if you can see it or not but we'll just uh, pop it out there and you can see the spring right here okay so we'll lay all this over here push the plunger out the plunger has some uh, rubber o-rings on it this one here I kind of wonder if it would actually or excuse me this one here the small one I kind of wonder if it would actually seal anything the big one here looks like it does seal something. Okay, now up top here, I've already loosened this up, but here, one common problem is, is that the air is going through it, the tool seems to be working, but the head isn't turning. Let me show you something on here. Now, up top here, we have this big threaded nut. And it fits on to the top here. I don't know if you can see on the inside of that, but there is a gear up here. Now, this thing will pull in and out. And I would recommend that you push on it with your hand and seat that back as far as it will go. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to pull this out because it would require taking this off. You generally probably won't need to. Um, on the inside of this, let's see. Here's a wrench that mm, fits it. And you can take this uh, piece off, and you know here's your collet, it's like you find on a mill or anything else. And uh, inside of here goes back to the uh, the gear. And as you can see here, there's a gear assembly here. Now this comes out, and at the bottom we have this gasket which is uh, goes around the air inlet the air inlet if you can see in there you'll see two kind of banana shaped things and then kind of a a crescent type thing on the top as you're looking at it that crescent type thing is the i think the air inlet and the other two are the exhaust so this this gasket here as you can see mimics mimics that so uh, we'll set that aside now one of the things I noticed on this is that there is not much lubrication at all on it. We're going to dip this in a thing of grease once we're finished. But oh, there's also a washer. The main bearing that turns is down here on the bottom. And it looks like there's a bearing up here, but it's it's not. doesn't look like it's, uh, for all practical purposes, is turning. But it is. Okay, but you can see this one rotating and turning. All right. One of the things that you need to check if this thing, if you're if you're pressing on your grinder and this in the air is going through it and it's turning but nothing's happening up here, you need to check these where these two gears meet up. Um, you can't really see it in there. Maybe you can. I don't know. My eyesight's not that good. But right up here, there's a gear, and there's a little bit of lubrication. This here is a grease nub. Uh, re but to be honest with you, just take it apart, dip it in some bearing grease, and put it back on there. All right, so that fits up in there against that, and those two turn. 
one of the things that is a big culprit in this thing not working right is this thing here. Now this does not fit on like a regular nut. It turns the opposite direction. Okay, so if you bring this up here, put your wrench on it and secure it, this thing won't move and it will be topped out. Now, as you can see, sometimes people say, well, there's a short thread and a long thread here. Well, the short thread fits into this, like so. So put that back on. All right, we'll loosen this up a bit. Cinch that up real good. Okay, now, if this spins fine, we'll put our gasket back down in here and you can see that there's a little circle on there where the bearing has been grooving it, so that's the upside. Now, let's see, we'll put it back on. There's the crucial part. You have to line this air inlet in with the uh, air inlet on this thing, and you can't really see it right now because I got the gasket in, but you, uh, that's where the air comes in anyway. So, you're gonna put that there and uh, it's gonna be right where your handle is so drop that down in there seat it should spin freely okay there's a washer that goes on top of the bearing there put that on now here is the crucial part um, I'm gonna dip this in grease and smear it all over it but I'm not gonna do it right now you know because I want to use this later but uh, we should dip this in grease. When you put this back on here, make sure this head is all assembly is all in there. Now uh, those gears have to meet and they can't be conflicted. So this thing here spins, and when you get down there, and okay, and put it on there. It's not really meeting up right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to maybe adjust a little bit. Okay, let's take a look, push that in a little bit more, and screw that on there, and when those two meet up, it should spin pretty freely, and I think it is. So you can put it back on and uh, try it, your air hose, and it should spin freely. I think this one is. It does need grease. Then reassemble everything as you uh, you had it with the plunger and everything is in the in the uh, order that we took it out the plunger of course goes in here like that the is in here in the hole okay and you should have a little springing action there whoops just put this nut back on, okay, and take your big screwdriver and screw it in, okay. Okay, make sure you put your collar back in. plastic piece and you might want to thread that with some plumber's tape Let's see. okay so I'm gonna go out and try this but I know it works this is one of the big culprits in these things not working is this connection between these two gears so if you'll take that apart grease it up real good manually I wouldn't use this thing uh, it should work fine and uh, that's one of the, the big problems with the center pneumatic grinder. It uh, really, there's, you know, I can feel that it's working right now. It just needs some grease in there, which I'm going to go do right now. Uh, just a can of bearing grease. Just dip the head in, swirl it around, put it up there, and make sure that it is uh, contacted and the gears aren't conflicted. I think this one is really good and okay. The bottom part of this, you know, the air inlet will be lubricated by the oil that you put in here. Uh, a lot of these things probably are quit and thrown away that could be repaired very easily. But, uh, you know, and also, uh, if there's uh, some air slippage out of this valve here, you could put some grease 
on the inside on those O-rings that we saw earlier and it would probably more than likely fix it. Okay, I thought I'd show you the actual process here. Um, I'm just going to unscrew this. This is just bearing grease that you can find in any auto parts store. Uh, just say, hey, I need some bearing grease, and the, the guy will direct you to it. So look what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of swirling this around, okay, and getting a little healthy dose of grease on it there. So now I'm going to put this back on. and maybe since I caught a little bit of that grease this here should be good it's as you can see it's really greased up and it will catch and lube this top bearing too as I'm going down I'm kind of turning this to make sure they mesh up real good shouldn't have much of a problem yeah that looks good okay Let's go out in the shop and see how we did. The main reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people are throwing these things away. And at Jason's shop, we are about repairing and restoring tools. This is steel and aluminum with minimal plastic parts. There's no reason why this chain thing should not work correctly. Okay, and even though maybe it uh, out of the box doesn't work good, you can really make it work good and it could be one of your star tools when you get through with it. Instead of spending, you know, money on a new grinder or a more expensive grinder that really doesn't do anything different for you than this does, you could invest that money in some other tools that you need. Uh, I don't have money to just throw at everything, so uh, we'll also look at, there is some issues with it, the, you know, the air kind of blowing out of the grinder, you know, and uh, mainly at this place up here. But like I said, if you'll swirl some grease around there, you know, it would, or around that one uh, O-ring on that one pin that we saw earlier, it should work fine. So let's go out to the shop, hook this thing up to the air hose, and see how it's working. Car out in the shop. Now I've got this all put back together and tightened. Let's hook it back up. Now oh, come on. There we go. Okay, look. Yeah, baby. What a nice tool. With a little RX, it's back in business and just as good as the big dogs. Okay, uh, don't throw this thing away. <laughs> you can fix it. Uh, you know, I have some issues, but we got it going good. And uh, hit like and subscribe on my video if you like it. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back with you. But we're gonna keep restoring the poly grinder and now it's gonna be a whole lot easier with this thing. Bye-bye.